hello yes today uh, we are going to see the builder uh, design pattern uh, which is there in the creational pattern so i take the reference of uh, do factory uh, where i, I uh, the example which i uh, brought from this okay i try to explain from here okay fine so let's understand what is a builder design pattern so builder uh, design pattern helps you to construct the object uh, complex object okay uh, to helps you to separate and construct the complex object so in the name uh, builder only we uh, get to you know like uh, something we try to uh, build uh, some product mm, which uh, need to kind of assemble and uh, structureize so how to separate and uh, reduce the complexity of this so it's come into the picture here is a builder okay so let's see the example the code which I get it from there okay so here in the main program so i'll just uh, before going to explain you i just run that so what i'm do, uh, what this this example is giving is there is a shop uh, which constructed the different type of vehicles and uh, and finally it's delivering accordingly it, it shows the uh, vehicles with the constructed vehicles with their details okay so that's the goal here okay so output something is like this so what it is doing is i have three different vehicles i want to construct and i want to see the specification of that okay normally what we do we just uh, uh, create some kind of uh, complex logics which uh, uh, which is really not uh, it, it works but it, it's a bit com uh, complexity and uh, we can't plug and play like if you want to create the new vehicles then we need to write a lot of conditions but in this pattern it's very simple that uh, each uh, specifications uh, we split it into the different plots and using okay let's show you this example so here what 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 is the example is uh, so it's split it into the uh, four main parts one is the shop okay uh, shop what you do is it, it has the responsibility to construct the vehicle uh, by help of the vehicle builder and it, it has of uh, it, it is having the responsibility to show the constructed vehicle okay and if you see uh, the builder so builder have the responsibility it give the uh, abstract interface uh, where uh, to helps you to uh, build the product and also it helps you to it it also helps to uh, provide uh, to interface to uh, deliver a kind of show the product show the product mean this okay so builder has a responsibility uh, to construct the product uh, means uh, it, it just implement the product uh, uh, band uh, it's uh, delivering uh, it showing the data academy okay that's fine and another things we are using here is a vehicle so what is the vehicle uh, okay so let's stop this so vehicle here is the product so we are uh, building the three different vehicles one is scooter one is car and motor so uh, so vehicle specification parts and what specification need to be constructed that all hold holds in the vehicle class so i uh, see uh, i think uh, you guys uh, getting uh, what i am saying so so each and every responsibility we are trying to split up okay uh, as a shop have something that you can get order and and uh, it's kind of get the order and uh, construct okay and uh, the constructed things uh, will be delivered by the builder right builder will uh, show you what the constructed okay and based on the input of what uh, the build uh, what the input like scooter or car builder or whatever okay and finally uh, so what uh, what we are building is the vehicle right so vehicle have some core functionality like so we are building the scooter so scooter have some common specification as we, we saw here like it has the frame it has engine and it has a wheel but vehicle uh, is a common product but it has a different uh, category like scooter car that's what the builder do okay so this is the way it executes. okay let's go and see one by one so let's start with the shop so before that let's uh, see this uh, uh, understand the uml diagram which is provided by uh, do factory so here this is the director so we, we call shop as a director so director 
uh, will uh, he helps uh, with help of uh, builder it's uh, construct the uh, product so builder what it it's provide the interface uh, okay for the concrete builder concrete builder here is scooter and so scooter uh, car builder vehicle builders if you see here the motorcycle builder scooter builder all it's uh, used the uh, vehicle builder okay to get the product okay so if you see here yes and the finally the product so product here is the vehicle that is what the representation here okay fine so uh, so concrete builder used the product and finally it's uh, it's a responsible to deliver means it's uh, finally the output we are getting right the vehicle show that responsibility taken by the builder okay so let's just quickly run uh, the code okay so shop is the main instance uh, which created here the shop and what we did here is i uh, we want to construct the three different vehicles so that's our goal so let's uh, we create uh, just uh, want to try to create the uh, different vehicle builder okay let's go and check the vehicle builder yep so what vehicle builder is it's abstract class where it's provide the option to implement the different uh, needs for the product so what the first thing is okay it has it's provide the interface to define uh, the vehicle instance okay and and it's provide the method to build the frame engine vehicles and the doors so let's see one implementation let's see the scooter so scooter inherits the vehicle builder this is of actually the concrete builder so where in the vehicle so here the product is vehicle so so we define the name of the vehicle okay let's see the core product representation this is the vehicle okay so vehicle okay so just uh, uh, we passing in the constructor uh, the type of the vehicle and uh, then and by using the instructor indexer we just uh, building the different uh, parts dynamically like what the parts we need like frame engine uh, wheels door and if you want to want something uh, more suppose uh, tom uh, tomorrow i just want to know what is the color of the uh, color then then easily we can use the indexer and provide another key and apply the value okay so that's what here the vehicle okay so as i said so so builder concrete builder what it does is it implements its so this is a motorcycle and this is a scooter so motorcycle we define the types and motorcycle so we created the different indexes where define the key like frame engine wheels and the doors and whatever uh, other uh, needs that we can easily extend by uh, just go and define the builder so, uh, suppose uh, you want to define color okay just go and uh, okay just build color okay we call it as colors okay it's very simple and easily you just go and uh, implement that implement the abstract okay so it's very simple we can define vehicle colors okay so blue okay blue variant for the scooter so likewise we can go and extend the builder so new specification we are introducing so we call it as green and uh, even we have another car builder where just all right okay so we call it as yellow okay fine 
so now what what's the thing is builder is uh, ready to uh, construct the future the finally the, the builder uh, it just so builder is finally it's uh, construct and uh, assemble the parts okay and it has another responsibility to show the product okay so each and every builder we have the instance vehicle okay so in the constructor we are building the vehicle as the new type called vehicle scooter and every and we defined all the vehicles uh, specification parts parts okay then then finally so once uh, it's assembled the parts so we, we return the so we can call from the builder builder dot vehicle and in the vehicle finally you want to see the vehicle then there is a method we return here just we define we just call the indexer parts so that that's what the instance we created dictionary okay the parts okay parts key and value so we are storing the indexer as a key and dictionary values where key and the value which is defined so okay here we can extend to c color as well okay what's the name yeah fine so previously we don't have this so very simple so just we want to introduce the new parts just go and extend the builder and you want to see yes you can just go on just write and check in the console the show method in the product the product here is the vehicle oops there may be a okay there is a break error once again what's the error colors is not present okay fine let's check where 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 it is Okay, in the shop, uh, we didn't maybe set the option to construct. Okay. So uh, now we have the order from the shop to construct the color as well. Okay. Okay, because the shop, the director have the responsibility to construct. So builder will helps you to assemble the parts, and it uh, you have the responsibility to show the respective product okay that's what the deal here okay fine now it will work see the colors which we defined in the assembling time so that that showed by the builder hopes you understand the builder so it helps you to uh, initiate you to uh, look at the actual uh, uh, do factory to understand the builder and you can compare your uh, respective and try to implement uh, to use where uh, you needs the builder so mainly to con uh, build the parts something uh, the complex uh, in it suppose on product you, you, so not only the vehicles you take some some other example to construct the house so what what needed some materials uh, so you need to assemble the doors materials and the cements so these are a uh, kind of the another logic which you can uh, implement try out your own the example and uh, to try to split up uh, each and every suppose uh, the construction will be happen in the uh, as I call as the 
uh, as you again if you go here so the constructions and the assembling will be happen in the concrete builder and the director uh, call it uh, a sh uh, shop or the owner or even a mechanical engineer the civil engineer or whatever the if a mechanical engineer you try to build some uh, parts so for example uh, you are uh, building on a crane or a truck uh, which you want to assemble the tires so it's kind of the uh, logic uh, you can apply in your real time scenario to understand the better of the builder hope you understand so this is on common uh, architecture uh, design pattern which we using in our program you should be aware uh, to make uh, one step for the clean code thanks for watching stay tuned for more updates